Lightspeed brings up a good point here. Why not just make the entire part four or five walls, 50% infill? You know what video he's talking about? It's a CNC kitchen video where he shows the diminishing returns of like how much percent infill is too much infill. Where do the benefits drop off? And that was his recommendation, four or five walls, 50% infill. But that got me thinking, if I only need the strength in that one place, does doing five walls, 50% infill for the entire part, is that a waste? Am I wasting time? Am I wasting filament? Let's find out together. Point two layer height, five walls, 50% infill, 32 gigabytes of filament, and uh, an hour and 24 minutes. However, if I come over to my part, so the main housing of the part, two walls, 15% gyroid infill, and then just that interior part, 100% infill. Why didn't it change this to, I thought gyroid couldn't be 100% infill. Or is that Bamboo Studio that gives you that error? I can't remember. So rest of the part, two walls, 50%, interior part, 100%. And that is only 22 gigabytes of filament in 47 minutes. So I significantly cut down my print time and filament usage by doing it that way. So that's interesting. T not saying that um, CNC Kitchen is wrong at all here. I faintly remember all the testing CNC Kitchen did in his video. I can't remember if he did any like heat insert specific tests. It's like, yes, after 50% infill, diminishing return for the entire part. But if you're targeting just a portion of that one part using 100% infill, considering heat inserts, you still have the same fall off of diminishing returns. Ba -da, ba -da. Wow.